All right, I'm Christopher Isherwood. I'm a novelist. You may have heard of me. Uh, I wrote quite a few plays. Uh, I don't want to go into my background too much. I'm going to give you a little summary of what it's like to deal with spirits. Now, in England, there is the famous playwright Shakespeare who wrote about witches and things, and spirits and things. But modern day people by and large, don't believe in spirits unless they actually have personal experience with them and then they'll find that plenty of other people say, you know, don't give me that bullshit kind of thing. So, you know, it's a personal thing to you. For us, we have spirits and um, uh, they run the gamut from, well, elves and imps. We've got dog spirits. We've got human spirits. Uh, we've got a brontosaurus spirit. Um, we have a um, dragon. Uh, I don't know. Some other ones come and go. And I think some of them, you know, they don't like to be classified as this kind of spirit or that kind of spirit. And, you know, for the most part, you know, we don't bother too much trying to go and pigeonhole them because we do encourage them to be playful and try different things. Okay, I'm Bob Frizzell of The Reality Game. I produce this reality game, and you see it here on my YouTube channel or on my Instagram channel. And um, people want to know what it's like to work with spirits. Well, if you look around in the shopping mall, um, all the people you see are spirits. Uh, most people somehow think that, you know, spirits are uh, dead things like ghosts or... I don't know, disembodied things. But no, all the humans that you see are all spirits. And most people that do kind of believe that makes sense uh, usually think that a human has only one spirit. Uh, in our experience, that's uh, not true. And if you go back and look at the Egyptian Book of the Dead and you see all the different types of spirits that the Egyptians say are involved with a human... There's like the Ba and the Ka, and there's like a whole pile of other names. I don't know what each one of those Egyptian words mean, but I think it means that back in those days in ancient Egypt, they realized that there's more than one spirit at play in a human body, in a human mind. And, you know, some people say, you know, that there are three spirits making up a human, um, a lower self, a middle self, a higher self. Uh, that's uh, old Hawaiian. Um, I don't know. I don't want to go too much into that. Uh, but if you want to know what kind of spirits we have, we're going to bring in our Australian friend. All right. It's Christopher Isherwood, and I'm a Brit. I'm not Australian. Bob Ross usually wears this hat, and he's from Australia, but he's not available, so I'm going to be Bob Ross for you. Now, what else do you want to know about spirits? <coughs> what good are they? Well, playmates primarily. You know, sometimes you just get bored and lonely being all by yourself, and with spirits around, you know, other humans are easy, but, you know, if one bloke you know is, you know, a hundred miles away from you, then it's not so much easier to get together. But some of these spirits, you know, like elf spirits and nature spirits, they're right in your backyard or your neighborhood park. Or they might follow you home from the park and end up talking to you while you're in your living room. What's it all mean? Well, here at the reality game on these channels, uh, we... We'll basically talk to you about our experiences with other humans and with the spirits. And uh, we never know what's going to come up. Every day is a new day, and we have new spirits all the time. Genuflecting, we've had horrible, horrible times with certain spirits. And we've had um, good times with the exact same spirits. So, uh, that's the way it is. Someone says it's give and take, it's give and take. Okay, that's Bob Frizzell again. And I just wanted to let you know that some of the uh, main characters that we have on here, for example, we have 
Colonel Cliff Serene. Colonel Cliff Serene is a men in black kind of person. He works on tracking extraterrestrials. Uh, at one point, he got bitten by a reptilian Draco called Pindar. And, um, well, Pindar uh, was an absolute horror, a uh, horrible spirit. And uh, then he sort of became tame, and he got promoted to becoming a dragon. And then Pindar, well... One of the spirits that was playing Pindar, kind of an actor that was playing Pindar, didn't want to play Pindar anymore. So that one went off and became a new person in our show. And then we had to get a new actor to play Pindar. And sometimes I just show up out of the blue. You can tell I'm Pindar because when my eyes change, they get kind of dark. And the way I talk is really different. Well, I'm not really a reptilian anymore. I'm more and more becoming ham. Ham? I love a ham like pig. Mm. I don't want to be a reptilian Draco. I want to be caught with something else. I'm not sure what, but I keep looking through books to try and figure out what would be fun for me to do. All right, it's Christopher Isher, what I get. And I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you, but Colonel Cliff Serene and Pindar are now best friends. That's the way it comes. Sometimes your worst enemy at one point in time becomes the best mate of yours. You just have to give it a lot of time. And if it doesn't work out, then, you know, it didn't work out with that one. With, you know, billions of people and billions of spirits. So, you know, if this one doesn't work out, then let it go. and See who comes into your life next. Okay, I'm Bob Frizzell again. Oh, no, it's not Bob Frizzell. <laughs> it's Christopher Isherwood wearing a Bob Frizzell hat. I don't want to tell you too much more about this other than... Uh, oh, bloody hell. It's too much difficulty trying to explain how it all works. It's mostly by telepathy. That's how we do our spirits. Channeling, we do channeling. Like Christopher Isherwood was a real human. Not, he's, he's, you know, he's dead in this world now, but, you know, it's real Christopher Isherwood that comes through. So you would maybe call that channeling, channeling Christopher Isherwood. And um, uh, Colonel Serene, uh, well, we don't really channel him. He's uh, an engram, which is basically personality traits all put together that you recognize as a character. That's all I can tell you for now. It's long enough. Okay, this uh, is a, a native North American elder, you know, so we always say this is like a sitting bull, very wise man. And uh, a lot of times we like to give pieces of wisdom that we picked up along the way. And um, traditionally, we always consider the, you know, sitting bull and people of his nature are among the most wise people that ever lived on the planet. Uh, because they were very well grounded in uh, their day-to-day -day life. They weren't, you know, in some ivory tower somewhere. Very much, you know, involved with Mother Nature. So that's what we always try and come back to, ground into Mother Nature. Okay, it's Christopher Isherwood again. I put my hair on backwards because I just want to have a different look. It's not necessary to always give wisdom. Sometimes we do jokes. We do funny bits. And uh, we usually have an ongoing story. And if you have to watch a lot of our videos to get the story, uh, I'm sorry, sometimes it's true. Some of the some of the characters come and go. I mean, our, our pirate, our Bothno, has been gone for a year. We haven't heard nothing from our Bothno. And, um, you know, we always wonder if he's going to come back. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, but steel is a manufacturer of things like chainsaws. And uh, we do use them around these parts. <laughs>